that I want. I'm going to be your, your teacher for grade 8 math. Uh, I'm a high school teacher, so I have experience in high school, and now I'm going to be doing middle school uh, this year with you guys. Uh, this is going to be fun. We're going to have a book that you guys are familiar with, which is the Envision, and it's going to have two volumes in it. Uh, we're going to do both volumes, and just to give you an idea what we, we're going to be doing this uh, year, uh, it's going to be uh, those eight chapters. We're going to have those eight chapters, and those eight chapters, they're not going to be covered all. So chapter four, we're going to be removing. So we're going to do like this. We're going to do uh, unit one, which is chapter one, real numbers. And then we're going to make another unit for the term one, which is unit two. And in it, we're going to introduce chapter two and chapter five together. So unit two will have the chapter two and chapter five in it, which is analyzing and solving linear equations. And you could see that it's the same thing, analyze and solve system of linear equations. So you can see that there's a relationship between those two chapters. That's why we decided to make them as one unit. Okay, so unit one is going to cover chapter one only, and unit two is going to cover chapter two and chapter five. So that's the end of the term one. So by the end of the term one, we're going to be taking the test on it, and um, our final exam will cover those three chapters. Now, when uh, we go to the next uh, term, uh, when we go to the next term, we're going to start unit three. Unit three will include chapter six and chapter seven in it. So the congruence and similarities, understand and apply the Pythagorean theorem. Okay, so we're going to do six and seven. Six and seven are going to be related to each other. So we're going to include them as one unit. So unit three will include those two chapters. Okay, then we will have one more chapter to finish, which is one more, sorry, one more unit to finish. And the, the last unit, which is unit four, will have also two chapters in them. They're going to have chapter three, which is, which so that means we're going to go back to the beginning, almost the beginning of the book, use uh, the function to model relationship. And we're going to use, uh, we're going to do chapter eight, which is solve problems involving surface area and volume. Okay. So by the end of the year, we'll be covering eight, uh, seven chapters out of the eight. And uh, that's what will get you to, when you go to grade nine and start algebra one, uh, you have good knowledge how to handle Algebra 1. Algebra 1 is not that hard, so you're going to also enjoy chapter, uh, Algebra 1. And from there, you are a high school student. That means you're going to advance to geometry, then you're going to go to Algebra 2. And then your choice will be either to continue with uh, you know, something called pre-calculus, or you could take uh, certain classes with me, uh, like business, finance, or accounting. So you have a choice of the fourth year of math. I love four, there's your, your four years of math in high school has to be Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2. And then you have a, a choice of uh, uh, between pre-calculus or taking classes with me because I teach myself accounting and finance. And that's considered to be one of the fourth year uh, options. Okay, guys. So this is a brief idea about what we're going to be doing. Um, also, uh, the grading system is going to be uh, uh, different uh, this year. Probably uh, last year, you guys started the same thing. So uh, we'll talk about uh, more of the detailing of how it's going to be the grading system here. Um, but in general, if you stay with the class and you do all what you are asked to do, all the requirements, doing the homeworks, doing um, uh, ex the exercises at, at in class, uh, working together, uh, asking questions, involving yourself in, in class, you have will you will have a great time of learning plus enjoying something. You know, a lot of people don't like, for example, the thing they don't they don't like. Math is a is a is a fun subject, and I'm I, you know I love math myself, uh, so I'm gonna encourage you to love it, and you're gonna see that there's a benefit from it because no no matter what you do in life, math is involved. So when you go to college. You still have it. You have to use math, so there's no way to that you're not going to be taking math. So and enjoy it. Life, life is math itself. Okay, so let's go ahead and start talking about the book itself. So like I said, we have two volumes. Volume one is going to include the first four chapters. So in in term one, we're going to use both volumes because remember, 
unit two, you, this is unit one, right? Chapter one is it's part of unit one. So you can see that there's 10 sections in it, I think. Yes, let's see. Yeah, 10 sections. So that's a long, long chapter, all right? So a, long, a, ch a chapter with 10 sections, that's a long chapter. So that's why we, we put it as a one unit by itself. And then we're going to be going to chapter two. So by using the volume one. So that's why you need both books for term one. So volume, uh, unit two includes chapter two, which is analyzing and solving linear equations. And this one has uh, less, I think, uh, yeah, nine. It's not that much less, but you know, there's nine sections in it. Here we start with a linear equation. Linear equation is going to benefit you a lot when you go to algebra one. This is, you know, algebra one, it, it has a big portion of it is linear equations. So you're going you're gonna to be doing linear equations when you go there. Now, here, when, you, when we reach chapter three, in this book, we're going to skip three and we're going to skip chapter four. Okay, then we're gonna go to to the second volume, and when you go to the second volume, we're gonna choose uh, chapter five. So you can see that this volume doesn't have chapter five in it. So we're gonna skip this book, and we're gonna go to volume two, and in volume two, we're gonna be starting actually with chapter five. So now, unit one is done. Chapter one, unit two has a chapter two in it and a chapter five. So to go to, to the second chapter, which is chapter five, we have to go to the second book, which is volume two. That's why when you buy the books, you have them both with you. Uh, you don't have to bring the volume two until we, we reach it. Until we get to chapter five, then you need to start bringing uh, the volume two book with you. Okay, so you can see that now. Look at this one here. This is volume two. Now we see that volume two starts with chapter five. Analyzing and solving systems of linear equations. This one has, uh, I think, ah, yeah, it's only four sections. So it's a lot less than chapter one and chapter two. And by the end of this chapter, we're done with, with term one. So when we go to term two, we start with chapter six. Okay, so after, after you know, the, uh, after December, January, I think we're going to go back in January, probably, I don't know, seventh, maybe. So we're going to start with chapter six, and then it's going to follow it by chapter seven, and those considered to be one unit. So unit three will cover those two chapters. Now, when you go to the final unit, look what's gonna happen. We're gonna use chapter eight from this volume, okay, which is four sections, and then we're gonna go back again to volume one. So that's why both books are needed, but only I would let you know to bring both of them. You need to have one of them, the one we're going to be using on, on, you know, at a certain time. But then if we, we're done with it, I'm going to ask you to bring the other book. So this is uh, chapter three, and that's from volume one. And has how many sections? Six sections. So by, by the end of those seven chapters that we did, we're done with this year. So grade eight is done. Your next step is going to be you know grade nine, and you're starting with algebra one. And uh, then uh, that's it. I'll probably see you there also in uh, high school when you go there. Okay, guys, uh, this is just a brief idea about grade eight and uh, all the details, all the things we're gonna be doing in class is gonna be actually in class, right? So uh, good luck and I'm you know happy to see you guys uh, like uh, next month maybe or uh, September. Okay, guys, see you, bye-bye.